Alright. Hi. <coughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to TWF Rampage or Ram Through. I, Michael Cole, here with Tony Shivati and with Elijah Burke. And today on Rampage or Ram Through, we're going to see the, the first map. We're going to see Austin Fury, who is you know came to the TWF yesterday from Walmart Michael Cole says <clears throat> and that's what we're gonna see here today on Rampage or Ram Through you got that right Michael Cole Tony Schiavone says here today on Rampage or Ram Through we are gonna see you know we're gonna see um, Austin Fury here today and this man believes he's the and this man believes that he believes he is the believes he is the greatest wrestler of them all you know and we're gonna seek out you know if that's true or not uh, Tony Schiavone said yeah we're gonna see if that's true too Elijah Burke says I've heard a lot about Austin Fury about how he believes he's the greatest wrestler, you know, or overstar, or fighter, or whatever you want to, whatever word you want to say. You know, W calls their wrestlers overstar, everybody else just calls them wrestlers, or fighters, or whatever. Uh, <coughs> Elijah Burke says, sorry for clearing my throat there. So anyway, we're gonna see. So anyway, that's what we're gonna see here. That's what we're gonna see here today on Ram Through. Elijah Burke says. All right, Austin Fury says. I hope I don't start up by falling down my rear, but it looks like that's gonna happen. All right, I'm Austin Fury, and now, <coughs> sorry for clearing my throat. I'm in WB, I'm in a TWF now. And you see all the fun and all the games are coming to an end. You know. Now since I'm here, things are going to get truly earnest. Truly fast. Now, the first thing that I want to do. You know, the first, you know, the first thing I want to do. If I ah, can sick about clearing my throat here. You know, the first thing I want to do is I want to go for some kind of winning. And I don't know what kind that winning going to be. So, so I'm thinking, hell, I'm one of the greatest wrestlers there is, right? I mean, I'm a two-time WWE 4-1 right fighter and never lost it since I won it for the you know, won it for the two this time. You know? And yeah, you folks can scave me and say, Oh, I was on NXT and then Raw and NXT and then Raw and SmackDown. You can scave me and say that, that I'm not as good as I say I am. You know? Well, I don't really care what you say about me. You know? And there's so many other wrestlers or fighters or overstars or whatever you want to call them who think they're so great, but they're not great. Hey, Austin Fury, you say you're so great, Kenny Omega says, but your greatness isn't really all that good. I mean, yeah. You would, yeah, you were, uh, don't get me wrong, you are a good wrestler, or fighter, or overstar, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, call yourself, but you were never as great as I was. I mean, yeah, I mean, you were only in WWE, on NXT, and then Raw, and NXT, and then Raw, and SmackDown. You weren't everywhere I was at. I mean, I first started out, I was first in WWE, sent to DSW for three months. That didn't work. 
I spent a lot of time in NJPW and AJPW, some time in PWG, MLW, NWA, then I went to AEW, and I think that if anyone's going to call themselves a great wrestler, a great fighter, a great overstar, it should be me. First off, you shut your mouth, Austin. There he goes. You like to talk about how great you are because you never wrestled in WWE. You were in WWE for three months in 2005 YL and DSW, and you couldn't cut it. So then you went to NJPW and AJPW and PWG and MLW and NWA, and then you also went to AEW. And you think you're the shit. Well, you're not. Alright. Yeah. You go and say, Oh, that somehow you were the IW and AW and AAA and NJPW heavyweight fighter. Well, you lost all those winnings. And no one gave a shit when you even won them anyway. And let's see. What did you do in the TWF? Oh, two-time TWF 24-7 fighter. One-time TWF heavyweight fighter. Wow, that's so great. And you got the Jack or a Cyrus with you. He hasn't done anything great in years. First off, Austin Fury, I have done a lot. You want to scave me and say how I had Kurgan and Kurgan never got over. You're gonna say I had Rhino and yeah, Rhino got over. You're gonna say I have Kenny Omega and Kenny Omega got over. But let me tell you something. Kenny Omega has done more in the skill wrestling business or sports school or whatever you wanna call it than you've done your whole time in WWE. I mean, let's say you're in NXT, then Raw, NXT, Raw, SmackDown. Oh yeah, two-time WWE 4-1 rights fighter. Yeah, so great for you. And then after that, you were an underling to Vince McMahon until he withdrawed from WWE for, oh, for some time until he came back. And now what are you doing? Nothing. I'm the 4, I'm still the 4-1 rights fighter. Kenny Omega hadn't done shit. Well, the way I look at it, Kenny Omega says, I should be the first one to welcome you to the toy wrestling gathering. Because I know how it is to be the new boy on the, on, on the street. You know, to be the new kid in class. So, the way I look at it is, we'll just shake hands and POW! Well, Michael Cole says Kenny Omega just knocked down Austin Fury. Yeah, he hit him and knocked him down, Michael Cole said. Yeah, he did. Kenny Omega knocked down Austin Ferry, Tony Schiavone said. That's a cheap shot, Elijah Burke says. That was a cheap shot that Kenny Omega did to Austin Ferry. Because he couldn't handle being scathed. You know, he couldn't handle being scathed, and that's sad. But we do know Austin Ferry, and now he's going to Corona's room now. That's not going to work. What can I do for you, Austin Ferry? First off, Corona or Astronema, you going to give me a match with Kenny Omega because he shamed me. Ah, uh, is that also what you want? Well, I know you're the nearest thing to Adam Pierce and Shawn Michaels and Santino Morella. So I want you to give me the match with Austin Fury here today on Rampage or Ramfru. All right, you got it, Austin Fury. Do you mind putting your hand down? No. Well, yeah, I will put my hand down. But I'll put my hand back up when I slap Kenny Omega's head off his body. Alright, Austin Fury. You can wrestle or fight Kenny Omega here today on Rampage or Ramfru. 
Thank you, Astronema. Well, it seems that Austin Fury has, you know, went to Astronema or Corone, and now he's got his match with Kenny Omega here today on Rampage or Ramfru. It's like the new kid at Learn who gets in a fight with someone and then sobs to the head teacher of the class who sobs to the teacher. Or goes and sobs to the head teacher. You know. Ah, uh, Michael Cole says. Or someone who's new at work and then goes sobs to the overseer or the main overseer. When things don't go the way they want them to go, Michael Cole said. Yeah, Tony Chevalier said, I guess Austin Fury's going to be nothing more than a sob baby in his whole run so far in a toy wrestling gathering. And a fight lord took him down. You motherfucker! Hit me again, do it again, and I'm going to knock you out. And right now, oh, ding, ding, ding. It seems that the match is underway. Elijah Burke says, Kenny Omega is nothing more than a bully and a hill and a creep. To Austin Theory, Elijah Burke says. Well, how can you say that, Michael Cole says. You saw, oh, how can you call him that? Did you not see what Kenny Omega did to Austin Theory, Elijah Burke says. Well, in my book, Michael Cole said, oh, uh, Austin Theory would be the bully or the creep or the heel. Michael Cole says. Yeah, Tony Chivalli said. It was Austin Fury who was being the bully and the creep in the heel. And right now the fight lord falls down. So they got to put him over there now. And we're missing some of these holes. Austin Fury just picked up Kenny Omega and body slammed him. Kenny Omega is in a bind now with Austin Fury who already has a bind with Kenny Omega and he hasn't been in toy wrestling gathering more than 24 span Michael Cole says yeah he's already starting fights with him already he's already making foes Tony Schiavone says and a hit a Hurkarana or whatever you want to call it or if Scott Steiner would get angry and say call the Steiner line or Steiner line or whatever he wanted to call it Michael Cole said, that's right, Tony Schiavone said, if Scott Steiner was here, he'd get all irked and angry that someone called it that, instead of calling it what he wanted everyone to call it. Um, uh, Elijah Burke says, oh, Kenny Omega, he's going to wish he never, never slighted, never shamed it. You know, Austin Fury, who's done more in WWE than Kenny Omega's done in AEW. Austin Fury down on Kenny Omega. The Jackal or Osiris or whatever ring name you want to call him. One, two, three. Oh! Austin Fury got hung up on the rope by Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega's coming back right now. Austin Fury just knocked down Kenny Omega. Austin Fury is going to do the downtown, the A downtown, the, the town. A downtown. Uh. And it's over here. One, two, <clears throat> three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Austin Fury. Sick of you falling down. And now Austin Fury is going to give him the A down, the, the A town down again. <clears throat> and now the Jackals come in the ring, or Osiris came in the ring, Michael Cole said. He gave him the A downtown too. Michael Cole said, yeah, it seems that Austin Theory is going to be nothing more than a bully in the hill and a creep, Michael Cole says. Yes, it does seem that way, Tony Schiavone said, that Austin Theory is going to be the bully, the heel, and the creep in the toy wrestling gathering. After we saw what he did to Kenny Omega, and we did it to Jackal or Cyrus or whatever you want to call him, Tony Schiavone says, "I like Austin Fury, Michael and Tony. He's a great wrestler. He's a great fighter. He's a great overstar. Whatever you want to call him." 
and sooner or later he might become the TWF heavyweight fighter or the world heavyweight fighter. The sky is endless for, for Austin Fury. Yeah, I believe so. Um, all right, T all right, Michael Cole says, take it away, Gorilla Monsoon. Thank you, Michael Cole and Tony Schiavati. I'm going to be talking with Austin Fury here today on Rampage Ram Through. Austin Fury, some would say that your start in the TWF is great, even though you start off by being a bully and a creep in the heel, something that no man or woman should ever be happy about. I like being a bully. I like being a creep. I like being a heel gorilla monsoon. And first off, four eyes. How would you know, you know anything about being a bully creep in a heel? First off, don't call someone who wears glasses four eyes. And two, I have dealt with many bully creeps in the heels over my life. Yeah, we all know you did. And you think I should be frightened of you because you call yourself Gorilla Monsoon. What kind of ring name is that? Anyway, I don't care. Kenny Omega slighted me, gayed me, shamed me, and guilted me. I beat him with the A downtown. And I beat the Jack or Osiris or whatever you want to call him. Everyone in the toy wrestling gathering is going to learn to onlook me. Well, Austin Fury, something you should learn is onlook is not given. Onlook is something you not ask for. You get onlook by giving onlook. And young man, I don't think you're going to be getting any onlook for not giving any onlook. Do I truly care about what you think? I don't. Ask Kenny Omega or Cyrus or the Jackal if you think if they want how it happen with a downtown I gave to them. They'll never they'll never wanna irk me or make me angry ever again. Well, that's my talk with Austin Fury. Back to you, Michael Cole and Tony Schiavati. Thank you, Gorilla Monsoon. For talking with Austin Fury here today on Rampage or Ram Through. And it's all the time we got it for Rampage or Ram Through. I, Michael Cole, Tony Schiavati, and Elijah Burke, we hope you like Rampage or Ram Through. And we'll see you tomorrow for Collision or Hit or Strike.